Hey there, and welcome to Ryan's Drawing Tools tutorial. In this tutorial, we will review the various drawing tools at your disposal for creating shapes and geometries. Let's get started. We are now within Orion model, and we'll be starting to draw on the canvas. The shape drawing tools can be activated from the bottom toolbar or by using keyboard shortcuts. Once you activate a drawing command, you can simply follow the command bar and set the command's arguments and modes right here. Additionally, on the right panel, you'll find properties tied to the shape you're about to draw, the active layer onto which your shape will be drawn, and the active style that will be applied to your shape. For more in-depth info about layers and styles, check out our tutorial series. Now let's dive in and start with the polyline command. You can set the distance and angle of a polyline manually or by entering a value. You can also arc your polyline segments by editing the mode. When drawing a line, you can set the distance and angle manually or by entering a value. When drawing an arc, you can do the same, then set its angle and its radius. You can also draw curves with Ryan. For circles, you can enter their radius manually or by entering a value. The same applies for a rectangle, where you can enter its width and height. Now that we've reviewed all the drawing tools, note that you can always edit your shapes by selecting them and then clicking on the edit button. You can add vertices to your shape, move vertices around, and delete vertices. For architectural drawings, you can also use the wall and zone tools to create dynamic wall enclosures and surfaces more efficiently. Be sure to watch our wall and zone tutorial to learn more about these features. And that's everything you need to know about shape drawing tools in Ryan. Check out our YouTube channel for more useful, hands-on tutorials, and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next drawing tutorial.